we're building up, we're building up, we're building up. We're on the clock. You can see the clock down here, of course. And uh, when that uh, dot goes, ready to go. Called the whole shot, called the whole shot. Motor number one into the corner. Tight into the corner. The Honda trying to get around. And uh, nice start. Yes, it was Jay Wilson and Brad Groombridge, the two that had gone down here. And for that matter, of course, Jay unfortunately getting a worse start. And he was lying back there, the Yamaha, last away. So bad luck. Less than 50 metres into his championship campaign, Jay Wilson found himself on the ground with major series rival Brad Groombridge. After remounting and dead last, Jay worked his way back up to 8th place and salvaged some good championship points. Throughout the rest of the first half of the season, however, Jay struggled with inconsistency, challenging defending champion Hamish Harwood for the lead at times and settling into 4th at others. Frustrated by this, and 3rd in points, Jay Wilson and team owner Josh Coppins returned to the JCR compound to figure it out. than the first one. Uh, nah. Nah. So much better like this. It's not as like, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, a little bit less croaky. All right, three laps this time. Whoop! Yes! Come here. <laughs> I nearly had a big one over on that road. Oh yeah? Just before I come over the ridge. Yeah. Both wheels just went and I tucked at the top of it. Over here? Yeah, just before you come over the road, back oh. down into that double. At the bottom of it? As soon as I landed off the double, yep. and then went to go off the top of the road, both wheels just went. Yeah, just be careful. Keep concentrated, you're going fast. So just stay concentrated. <laughs> I've got a feel I'm at the front end now, it's like doing this, yep. entering the turn. I don't know if it's because I'm under load so much in the front. I'd say so because you're coming in so hot. It looks better with the suspension one, two, one softer. It looks like it sits in there a little bit better. Yeah, riding's good, I'm happy with it. Every now and then you run a little bit wide off a turn, every now and 
here. You miss a, miss a shift? I think it, uh, like, I'm pushing so hard into the entry of the turns to try and make up time because I can't carry that mid momentum. Yeah. Yeah. Don't over it too much. And, um, yeah, I get going too much through here. Yeah. And try not to shift, uh, shift, run too wide on some of the turns. Yeah. I'm running third now in this turn. Yeah. Now nah, it looks easier. It's better than it was. Yeah. But we've got to make another step yet. Four laps now, and then three, two, one. Josh's farm. Uh, we're midway through the season now and um, it's not been exactly the way we wanted it to go but uh, in saying that we've learned a lot. Um, we're making good progress. I think uh, the last week we've made really good progress so really excited heading into round three. Um, I feel like I've gained a lot of confidence on the bike. Uh, we've made some really good changes with the bike as well um, so straight away there I feel like there's a lot of positives you know and um, just excited to go race and show what we can uh, do with some good quality riding and uh, a good base now. So right now we're in the mid part of the New Zealand motocross season. Today we're at the JCR compound working with Jay Wilson. Uh, he's had a few struggles for the first part of the season, really just getting up to speed. Um, obviously he's wanted to be faster and he's been pushing hard to get into that uh, area where he needs to be but um, he just really needed to do some work and uh, do, spend the time on the bike and let it come to him. So we've been working on that intensity uh, and uh, carrying that corner speed the last couple of weeks. Uh, Max Purvis and Kane Lamont are based Central North Island and they've been doing their training in bits and pieces. Kane had a test day yesterday. He's currently leading MX1, uh, which is going pretty well. Uh, we want to try to extend the points lead a little bit going into Hawke's Bay this weekend if we can and uh, make it a little bit easier for the home run at the final round two weeks later in Telpo. Uh, Max has a 15 point lead in the 125 class. He's been fairly dominant, made a few little rookie mistakes. So we've been working on that. With Max, it's really been more about working uh, on race day stuff, um, maturity and decision making on race day and how to attack a championship and lead a championship, which is longer than one weekend, which is all he really had in, in junior racing. And for Kane, it's more about um, giving him what he needs and the, the group around him what, what they need to do the job properly to make sure his bike's 100% and he's got everything he needs for his training and, and his little group he's got around him um, to make that work. So it's been a bit of a mixed, uh, you know, mixed group. Um, each rider needs different things. Um, Jay's last day riding at JCR today, so things are about to quieten down here. It's been an interrupted summer with a lot of rain, a lot of bad weather. But overall, uh, finally in the end, he's uh, starting to get where we need him to be. He's put in a lot of time on the bike. Um, the other boys had the advantage of working with me more in that October, November period, 
uh, building up, which gave us a lot more time to prepare. With Jay, it's been a little bit more rushed. Um, Jay sitting third in the championship, definitely room for improvement. Our goal would be difficult to win the championship for him, but definitely our goal would be to try to win some races before the uh, before the season's out, and, and hopefully an overall for a weekend. And you never know, you know, we all know anything can happen in racing, so we've just got to keep pushing on. And so he can lead into Australia well um, for Kane and Max is to try to win the championship, finish the championship with winning it, and then head into the Australian campaign strong.